What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Elite Dangerous Revolutions One Ship Wonder. I am Tangent, and here once again in my brand new Python, the Autumn Dawn, the OSW 4. So, yes, anyway, um, what I wanted to do today is. It's nice to have 3.7 million even after getting the things I wanted here. That's pretty good. I want to do a couple things. Uh, one, I've decided I was originally just going to go to the place I need to pick up the engineer stuff from and let you guys avoid seeing it. That kind of takes a little bit away from you being able to, you know, uh, I don't know, be a part of it, I guess. So. The other option I had is to go with a collector limpet package so that I can, let's see, it's going to put me over as expected. Um, so anyway, if I get a collector limpet package, then I can actually have the ability to this is probably fine. Three is probably fine, right? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll have the ability to stop along the way and pick up some stuff. So that'll be nice. And that doesn't really affect me too much, does it? So neither one of these. So one's just less power. The other one's got longer life on the limpets, but who cares cuz they're not I'm not going to be collecting all day when I'm out there so this one would be fine we'll store the cargo because cargo rack because if I need it I want it to I want to be able to get it again if I'm in a station or whatever that doesn't have them so normally I would sell but in this situation I'm not going to so that's good I could throw a very small uh, actually I can throw an advanced discovery scanner on here I don't really see why not I could throw a uh, like small hanger in here and it wouldn't really hurt anything I'd take away eight cargo and that would give me, and I could just leave it offline unless I need it. That would give me the ability to land on some planets if I need to for cargo later, too. So let's do that. Just get one in here just for now while I'm actually at a place where I can do it. Hmm. The heavier one, but that thing takes my jump range down a bit more. Not a lot more, though. But it does conserve the power quite significantly. So I guess I'll go with the slightly heavier one. And store the cargo rack again. Eh, we're still doing fine money-wise, so it's great. Let's get the vehicle in here. Cool. So... I could... I wonder if I can get a frame shift. Uh, I mean... Uh, Frame shift scanner, awake scanner on here, because I'm gonna need that too. So, Ugh. these things are so gross. Doesn't neither one is different as far as this is all about juice. So I better go with the one that uses the least. Wait, what's the difference in scanner range? 2,000 meters? What's the other one? It's 2,500 meters. Ugh. I mean, I could always just look at... What's a larger power plant cost? I mean, eventually I'm going to need to get into one, so might as well see what it is now. Alright. 
break down and by the larger power plant. I'm just killing my jump range more and more here, but I really actually want to be able to do what I want to do. I don't want it to be... Uh, I don't want to be restricted, so let's go with a better wake scanner. A C. That's fine. So now I've got everything that I need other than let's load up some limpets. I don't want to make that mistake. And I'm going to get only like 10 because, well, we'll see. So. Okay, we'll do limpets and frame shift on its own. Now, actually, since we're going to be in Super Cruise, is it Super Cruise? I don't remember. So, it's been a while since I've used a frame shift wake scanner, so I'll just do it on both. And then, let's go into outfitting and buy some limpets, because we don't want to forget that. Oh, whoops. Why in outfitting? How about an advanced maintenance? Okay. I'll do 20. It's going to take my car, my jump range down quite a bit, but at least I have them. What's my jump range? 25.21. So now I've got to re... Oh, wait. Let's go to the engineers and find out where it is I'm going again. So I'm still going to go to Elvira and still, well after I go to the Naguri system. But this way, on the way there, I can get USS's and look for the things that I need. So, let's go. I believe that's right. Now it's gonna be probably more like 20 jumps, but At least this way I can actually have some kind of entertainment along the way. Sharnovsky City. I was saying in the previous video that uh, at the, on the runs I was trying to get um, like a thousand credits per unit that I was transferring. But that was just me being airheaded because I, I really, I mean you want a minimum of 10,000 and I just wasn't thinking correctly at the time so when I was listening to it I was like what the hell am I talking about yeah no you because when you get like the times when I've had over three million that's been for like you know 98 uh, of the of whatever the like palladium or tons of palladium or whatever and I mean, that's, uh, so roughly a hundred, which means, you know, 30,000 per, so you want at least a minimum of, of 10,000 to one, but you're really hoping for 20 to 30,000 to one. So if you do those Seos and Sothos missions when you go to the mines and you get the rare, or the, not the rare, but the minerals that you're transferring, then you definitely want to uh, try and maximize uh, the value of each individual unit that you're taking. So don't settle for less than 10,000 per. Unless you're just in a hurry and want to hurry up and jump back and forth. But you could be missing out on some potentially huge profits. So. This way I can make more on the way there also. If I happen to see any excesses, then that would be great. And there we go, speak of the devil. Perfect start. See if I can get anything from this degraded emissions. 
pretty much all this is going to be value for me at this point because I don't have anything. And I know the new system is going to bring changes to where really the grade 5 materials and 4 materials are the ones you're going to be looking for. But since I'm going to try and get some engineering done before the, the new update, which is in about a week, I want to... Uh, I need to I need to actually be able to stock up on some stuff. Plus, it's a little more entertaining if I'm actually going and doing things instead of just jumping the entire time, I think. And hopefully I can get I I, I do need chemical processors and I don't think I'm going to find those in degraded emissions, but at least you know, I can get some of the stuff I need along the way and maybe su surprise myself a bit on what I get. Oh, holy shit. Well, never mind. Asking ye shall receive, I guess. So let's uh, bust out the collector limpets. Programming limpet drone. Carcass tube deployed. Programming limpet drone. Scan detected. Get all this stuff. Hopefully before these guys get them. I don't have any inventory, right? Oh, just limpets. It's fine. processors that would be all I needed of them too but might as well get the rest of this stuff if I had more I'd be more picky about it but since I'm still really low in materials this isn't a big deal and I already got five biotech conductors which is really good 14 exquisite fo focus crystals so I do have some stuff to trade uh, in the system which is over, so it's good. One more chemical processor coming, and then I am out of here. Cool. And there we go on our way. It's pretty nice getting exactly what you needed on the first one, so I needed chemical processors and check Anara here while I'm at it. I believe the same thing I need for level one, which I already have enough of. So it's gonna be chemical processors Typical disrupted wake up echoes, maybe? I believe. But yeah, so atypical disrupted wake echoes, then atypical disrupted wake echoes and chemical processors. Then I need phosphorus and strange wake solutions for level three, which, you know. Whatever. Can't get them all, I guess. I didn't even look to see how many jumps this was going to be. Besides a lot. I hope it's not really 20. I was trying to over-exaggerate it so that it'd make me feel better when it was less, but I didn't even bother looking.
found one so far, and that was exactly what I needed. Hmm. I'll need to land on a planet for phosphorus, so that's one thing. Let's see if I can get everything else before I... Ten more jumps, that's really not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought. It really didn't change things a whole hell of a lot. So. Good to know. <clears throat> that might even be the same. I'm not sure, because I think I've gone three or four jumps, so it really wasn't... wasn't a significant change at all. I guess I can see when I get to this place about, I can't remember if you can wake scan and super cruise. I feel stupid about that. I feel like you don't. I feel like it's used. Ooh. I feel like it's done. Uh, well, weapons fire? Yeah, I don't think so. Thanks, though. Thanks, but no thanks. Wondering. Oh, I got a new signal source. Another weapons fire. Okay. So I think I have to. Oh, shit. It's not good. I cannot win a fight, that's for damn sure. Oof. Don't know why they would have been after me, but... all this weapons fire. Not even like little weapons fire, it's like threat level four. No thank you. Drive yeah, I don't know how you would scan in hyperspace, I guess. Doesn't seem to be coming up as an option. I guess I could look and see if there's... Actually, yeah, you should be able to. I'll look for wake signals on the next one, because you, you do see them in in uh, Super Cruise, so... Obviously not in hyperspace, but... See, no wakes. 
I'm not gonna wait around for them, that's for sure. Six jumps, this really hasn't been that bad. I mean, granted, I haven't really found any more signals to go into, but still been fine. One thing I really wish they would do to just alleviate some of the monotony of jumping around the bubble, if nothing else, is just maybe, like, put wormholes up. I mean, if you can jump from star to star, it's not that unrealistic to think that maybe you could, like, create, like, some wormholes or some Stargate-type things uh, on... Maybe at, like, you know, certain areas of the bubble to jump to. Like, so you can jump to, like... Like, say you you surround the bubble in a cube, a 3D, you know, like just imagine like that, and then like all the points of the cube you can jump to. Like, that seems like it would be a pretty solid way to give people the chance to travel without constantly wasting so much time. I know that's, that's part of it, like it's not supposed to be easy or quick to get out to Maya, for instance, but... It feels a little bit more grindy than it needs to be sometimes. Well, everyone knows that. Like, this game is a grind fest, so. I love it, but there are certain things I wish could be sped up. Travel time for the ships that you are getting from station to station, and the items from station to station, for instance. And if people want to complain, well, it's not realistic enough for for it to just instantly be there. Well, how about this? How about a teleporter that only works on non-organic material? How about that? So that could be pretty realistic, I would think. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of what a lot of people believe is potentially possible, and there's been science fiction about that very thing. So why not a teleporter and you just can't have organic goods go through and if someone wants to say well then what's the point of trading they just teleport everything maybe it's too expensive maybe there's a cost associated with it that's greater than it would be worth doing so much like in real life do you FedEx something or do you ground ship it well FedEx costs more so overnight is not going to be as good as just shipping on ground for some people the way it goes. Looks like I can probably make it there without refueling again if I am only running into browns. Real close anyway. Should be able to. I'm not one of those people that constantly bitches about Frontier in this game. There's just certain things I think that I'm not sure if they listen and don't care or if they just don't listen in the first place about them. But there is just, I mean, it, it almost makes it seem like they just don't play their own game to really know. I mean, if they put the thousand, you know, the, what, 15, 1600 hours I've put into this game in and then some and not to mention other people and the work that we do for it, they might understand a little more as to how monotonous it can be sometimes. They might actually care to try and help with that a bit. Like even little things like in the, the livery, 
the animations when you take your weapons off. If you could disable that in the options, so you didn't see that every single time you sold an item, and if you're on, you're on a ship that has freaking 10 hard points, it takes a long time to change out those 10 hard points, almost to the point where you're just like, ah, oh, forget it. It's just, it's just not worth it. But oh well. Little complaints here and there. Overall, amazing game. I mean, it's obviously given me a lot of fun, but that's also part of the reason why it adds up. It adds up all the time that I've wasted doing little things in this. And I'm grinding a second thing now just to for some entertainment, but it's obviously still a grind. I'm going to be redoing engineers and engineers was a hell of a grind for me the first time so. it didn't really take very long to get here we'll see if we can oh, I got a signal source already Ugh. all these freaking weapons fires Come against, uh, come across more signals, but it's fine. I guess I was wrong. Maybe you don't see the wakes here. It was just in my brain. I wanted to be able to see them. Oh. That's that's doable. Let's do some combat aftermath. As long as I don't see any actual combat when I'm in there, that's good. I don't know why it would be that anyone would want to uh, come after me anyway. I don't have anything in my cargo and I'm not wanted anywhere, so. Let's see what we got. Some decent stuff, I guess. goods free goods free materials how many do I need oh, don't I only need two of these goofy things Elvira wants three okay good thing I didn't just buy two Processors. I don't always remember the grades of everything, so this all seems like it's pretty low grade, but it's fine. Stuff saves me the trouble of getting it later if I need it, so. I 
got some heat veins, which are grade 4, which is good. What are the manipulators? I can't remember. Grade 4, so yeah. Definitely was a good plan. Definitely stopping here was a good plan. How many wake scanners? that I didn't but all right okay got a couple high resource extraction sites here it's too bad there's not a uh, community goal here which is another thing I'm thinking about doing I'm kind of hoping I can get these this engineering done fairly quickly so maybe before the end of the community goal I can go do some of that that'd be fun get in on the first community goal that I've been able to be a part of with one ship wonder anyway Side here. You're not seeing it. What's the slot? We're missing something. Whatever. Don't matter too much. It's a lot easier of a ship to get around in than Type 6 was either way. So even even with uh, lower grade uh, thrusters than I would like to have. docking computer this time guys so for those of you that hate seeing someone not use a docking or hate seeing someone use a docking computer uh, you'll actually see me land so whatever that's worth go quick and painless I was gonna look for missions last time too and see if I could find any of the stuff that I needed and I completely forgot about it oh well no big deal so let's go to commodities a lot actually you can buy way more than I would have thought you can just buy like 80 huh okay I don't want them but I'll buy how about I buy 10 how about I buy five 
Six. Just double it. So... And yes, I know I just looked, but I'm double checking because it seems like something that I would get screwed on. Yep, there we go. So three is all I needed. Alright. I'll just sell the other ones when I get there. Um... Alright. I'm going to check the mission board just to see. I think generally if I can check it to make sure... Uh, the, no, massacre missions? Yeah, that's not really what I want. Nor do I want donation missions. So never mind. How are the community goals looking? I guess I can look at that. So, this is the cargo, and that's going to be for what? Computer components, robotics, hardware diagnostics, etc. So, okay. That's fine. I can get in on that later. Um... For now, it looks like we're going to... Elvira, wherever she is located. Which must be quite a ways, because why would why else would she have me come out here? Yep, another big jump fest. But maybe I'll get some more on the way. Cool. You can go to Todd the Blaster too, but what does he require actually? Oh. So I need to give a thousand credits worth of bounty vouchers, no problem. I mean a hundred thousand. So yeah, that'll be easy. So then I can actually get my, maybe some low level multi-cannon upgrades for my ship. That'd be great. Is there any, uh, like that? That's what I wanted right there. I don't have any weapons deployed. Relax. I don't even have any weapons. Brilliant one. Typical disrupted wake echoes. Okay. An eccentric hyperspace trajectory is cool. Here's another one. Might as well do that while I'm here. As monotonous as this may seem to have to do this, it's by far not the worst thing I've ever done, so. What? I didn't get anything? It's BS. Oh, whoops. Like going towards the. Come on.
There we go. So just those, huh? Could go. I guess I could look, wait for just a little bit longer. Let's see if I see any more. It's a fairly popular area. fast scanner of this though. So I'm just kind of hoping I can get some strange wake solutions because if I even get one of those then I don't need to worry about the third level except for I don't know what was the other the other options let me look at that. Uh, strange with phosphorus. Okay, and chemical processes, which I already have plenty of. So, it would be great to be able to just get strange wake solutions now. Why is that so far out? Oh, it's on the wrong side. That's pretty cool. I get there in time. I don't remember what the time is on those things, but I know they don't last forever. I did, I got some. Sweet! Saves me some issues. One <laughs> more. Alright, nothing to worry about here. Let's get out of here. So, that makes me happy. I can definitely do level 3 now. Just go. Perfect. Maybe I can get another, you know, a couple things on the way. It said 17 jumps this time. Ugh. Didn't really expect it to be worse, but that's fine. So I need, wait a minute now. Grade three. I do need phosphorus, so I'm gonna have to land. Of course, she'll be on a planet and maybe Hopefully they have phosphorus there. I would guess. I know I missed the signal source, but I was checking something out. It's fine, I'll keep
catch the next one. Pretty happy about the uh, strange wake solutions. The next one's going to be hyperspace trajectories, which I got. And after that, data mind wake exceptions, which I know are a pain in the ass. So I might try and. S I, don't, I don't remember if you can get those through. Uh, through missions, but I'll probably try and do that if I can. Lots of brown. Lots of dead stars here. I need some gas along the way, guys. so good. Been pretty productive I would say, especially if I end up getting my FSD upgraded to level 3 which is just going to require phosphorus. And then 4 is going to be chemical distillery and mangan manganese so a little bit tougher but not bad. I think I picked up any chemical distilleries yet. Let's just make sure real quick. Oh, I did. Oh, I do. Okay, so I can actually go through four as long as I get chemical distill. I mean, as long as I get uh, manganese. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Doing quite well here. Got pretty lucky with those signals. Got the chemical manipulators for grade 5 arsenic. No problem, just drive around on planets. And data might wake exceptions. That's not my favorite thing in the world, but whatever. I know I can get those from signals too. I'm not seeing any signals currently. I'm going to sit here for a second. Fuel up. I realize it was as low as I am. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Oh, there, see? There is an FSD wake. I gotta check this out. What is going on? On the other side of the freaking sun? Or like right in front of the sun, maybe? So I can't scan it. Whatever. Not a concern. Well, yeah, because I, duh. Gotta be within kilometers, so I don't know what I'm thinking. Alright. Good on fuel scooping. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Don't say weapons fire. Don't say distress call either. Okay, well, I'm not answering any distress calls without any weapons. Sorry, guys. You're just going to have to, you know, figure it out.
bad. Okay. So, I could get a boost. I guess. Or I could just go around. It's not enough of a boost if it's a neutron. I might be somewhat concerned. Neutron would give me a, a nice boost, but not worth it, I don't think, in this situation. Just for a few extra light years. Find some more USSs though that I actually can visit because that is pretty cool and they've done well for me so far. You know I'm probably most likely not going to see any high grades out here, but it'd still be cool if I did. source. Perfect. Let's head to it, shall we? No, I did not mean to speed up. Give me a break. Oh, I didn't expect the safe disengage to come on or I would have been ready for it. Thought I was going too fast. Over. Cannot look quick. Yeah. It's a pretty bad one, actually. I'm not even going to waste any limpets on it. Just head out. Nope.
Seven more jumps. Slow on the draw there. Well, just give me combat aftermath rather than weapons fire. Come on. This thing can't even take the weakest of enemies, dudes. Honestly. I guess I could <laughs> I guess I could ram a sidewinder if I could actually catch it. Sun and what else? Just a bunch of suns. Just suns. Suns, suns, suns. Pretty unexciting. A broom. Oh no, the boom in this next place. Okay. I thought it was a boom. For a second, I thought it was a boom in that horrible system we were just in. Boom with no people. That makes sense. This is the trip that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. Some see that. Just learning to speak, having trouble. Okay. So we got here. Where is it? Yes, please. 
like right in the sun, basically. Pretty much. It's gonna get pretty toasty trying to get out of here, I think. That's fine. Can you not hurry up a little bit more and let me drop, please? Ugh. I mean, is it good? Is this stuff good? I've never actually gotten any of this, but you know what? What the hell? We'll see. I'm just gonna get it and sell it. And hope that I don't get myself killed because of this crap. sell this stuff at Elvira. Blech. Now I feel like I'm gonna have to stop the freaking station outside of her place first. So I'm not carrying this crap around. Yeah well I'll just do it after. I didn't realize that was going to be stolen, so, eh, never mind. As I suspected, it's not really worth my time. Let's get rid of some stolen goods. Three more jumps. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Oh well. Late signal source. I might see him on the way to her. I can't remember how far she is. Like actually in the system. I don't want to get caught by pirates with these relics in here though. That would suck. Check it out. 
Sorry. Thanks, but no thanks. Too bad. Time wise, I mean. I think, do I have Alliance and Empire bounties? Need cash and it's not. Yeah. yeah, see, it's barely out here even. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's coming for me already. guy follows me in here then I will have to bail immediately Oof. hopefully he doesn't Definitely not worth staying. Well, it's her base. It's right here, right? You being around me, fool. That's what you get. Alright. I guess if I found one now that I could actually stop it. I don't think there's any near me. Yep. Okay, that's fine. Sucked that I didn't get all that stuff, but <laughs> wasn't exactly able to stick around. Signal source, but too late, sorry. I uh, is landing. What are the G's here? Hopefully they're not too much, because that's... Something I'd worry about with these low shields. Help 
Engaged. And we're already Earth-like, so this is going to be... I'm going to have to seriously hit the brakes here. I think I remembered that about this place. But, oh well. I think it'll be all right. I'm not coming in too steep, so. So before I do that, let's go here. I think this, I don't know if that has any effect or not. But. And universal card. I already did that. What's contacts for then? Why is it even there? Weird. Hmm. Why did... Was that engineering what allowed me to get to Felicity? Uh... Scouter higher. Huh. Interesting. I have to bring her meta alloys. Yay. Okay, forget it. So I am gonna get my stuff done now. I can do shields here too, even though I don't think it matters. FSD. I don't even need to go with one. Is that cartogra or Carter graphics actually helped me out quite a bit? So. That's good.
Not sure I love the thermal load increase, but I'll still apply it. Just see what each one of these takes me to. So it's 30.9 max. 2777 and 30.9. So let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not what I meant to do. Okay, good. Seems much better to me. Oh, of course, the freaking optimized mask goes down. Let's see how this looks. 31.6. So technically, I can go straight into three now, but I don't have the phosphorus. So rather than waste anything more, I'll do that. Enhanced low, po low power shields. Kinetic resistant, which who cares? Thermal resistant would not be that bad, though. Hmm. Might as well just go with some for fun. As long as it doesn't give me any downgrades. I don't see any reason not to. Mass went up a little. Oh well. Got engines, thrusters. I can actually do dirty drive tuning right now. Hmm. Don't see any reason not to, really. really didn't do a lot to except increase my speed. Whatever. Power draw went up. A couple things went up, but overall. So let's see. Get out and get some phosphorus if I can. Might as well take it out and see what we got around here. If I can even get out of her area. Okay. Good. supposed to be shooting around here, but I don't really care about a little piddly ass fine. As long as I get what I'm looking for. Oh, now you're just telling me? It's not delayed or anything. What the hell is this rock? The noise is like right here. Totally not supposed to be firing here, but who cares? Time for my fine. My slap on the wrist. Uh, manganese. So that's good. I hope phosphorus is on this planet. What the hell is this? Let's see. 
fuck? What is the target? No. So up is not the target. I'm confused. Now oh, there it is. Okay, good. Find some more. I do not consider suiciding in an SRV to be the equivalent of your ship dying. Just FYI here, when I call it hardcore, I mean, for one thing, sometimes you just can't can't get out of the way of it. But dying in your SRV is pretty much free, so I'm not, definitely not going to call that the same. Generally, we'll try and find all my planetary stuff on places that are flatter, if I can. I really like to do it on ice worlds, because then you can kind of see it from a distance and just drive over to it. But it seemed more convenient since she was already here. Right. Well, this stuff's got to be here somewhere, right? I need some phosphorus, dude. Just a shit ton of phosphorus. Or just some, even. Come on. I swear it feels like there's five different rocks right here. I don't know if that's... That uh, looks like maybe right down there. There we go. There's one, and there's another one close by. Of course, it's got to be on the side of the frickin' mountain, right? Just targeted. Ugh. Where's the nickel? Okay. 
So far, I'm a little worried that maybe phosphorus is not available on this planet. Because it's usually so freaking easy to get. It's like sulfur, phosphorus. And when I'm seeing these things, it makes me think that maybe it's not on this one. Yeah. I could probably look it up, but this stuff is all necessary anyway, so I might as well just get it while I'm here. Especially like leveling engineers, this stuff is kind of important. I'll do one or two more if I can find them and then start on something else. I'm sure there's a much flatter part of this land. I just came down these hills. Now it's like, nope, there's more up there. Whatever. It's like a freaking meteor just landed. The amount of time it took me to get down the hill. Yeah. Flatter equals better. Just remember that. Do as I say, not as I do. Oh god, this is bad. Okay, cool. Nice handbrake. Nice unintentional handbrake. Nice. That actually did work out for me. This feels like a rocky island, based on the noise. Another stuff down there too, which I think is another one of the bronzite or whatever. So far the rocky outcropping gave me the best. just sulfur everything but what I'm looking for guess in theory I can skip grade 3 by doing 9 grade 2 which seems like a horrible idea but it's possible saw the other ones. Try one more attempt to find some phosphorus, which I'm guessing, truly, truly, truly guessing is just not here now. Service map. Sulfur. Oh. There is phosphorus. Sweet. I guess I thought it was a little more rare than it is. 
or a little, that's not what I meant at all, but that's okay. A little less rare than it is. Hopefully I can find a few pieces of it though, because I know it's used for many other things and I really don't want to have to go looking for it. Again, right now. Especially not here. Shit. Place is the worst. This is pretty much my least favorite thing because it seems to give you the least. Oh, it's an outcrop. Nice. I used to not like outcrops, but I think somewhere along the line they stopped being the worst. Maybe they were always were better than the bronzite ones, but bronzite I seem to only get three or four things. Outcrops I seem to get quite a bit. Can you data link scan an outcrop? Weird. Phosphorus and manganese and zirconium, all this other stuff. So I guess I got some phosphorus. Although I feel like now I should get more than that. Go for one more. Maybe. It's going to take me all day to find one. This is such a rocky planet. At least this part of it is. She decided that she was really going to build her base in the middle of the freaking mountains. For sure. Why does it look like I'm in a hole? There we go.
Just give me some more signals. Please, holy shit. What in the hell is the deal here? This is getting really lame. Really freaking lame. I've got the phosphorus I needed, but I would like a little extra or, you know, maybe another rock just for fun before I blow myself up. Holy crap. What's the deal here? blow myself up before I get to the next one. This is literally one of the worst buckets I've ever had been on. So annoyingly rocky, and then apparently all of the stuff I was going to find I already found right next to a base. shit. Two more minutes. Seriously. Oh, wait. Now all I have to do is open my freaking mouth. It's like, hey, here I am. Where have you been all my life? Bring it on. Sensing and outcropping. Seems like it's forever away, but I'm not taking my chances.
Okay. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, come on, man. It is not that steep. Okay, I'm so steep. Really guys, come on man. Is it really that freaking steep? Because it sure doesn't look like it is. backwards. This is really bad. Okay. This thing is a lot steeper than it looks, apparently. God, this does not seem as bad as they're making it out to be. At all. Finally, 
relic. Oh my god, come on, man. Relatively close to it. Sort of, maybe not. Look like it. Yes. Holy cow, that was an ordeal. Almost died in the process. I kill myself pretty easily here, though. After this. Yay, Phosphorus. A freaking ordeal. Where's the rest of everything? There you go. So let's switch off everything from shields. And in fact, I think in here I can still turn shields. Oh, maybe not. It's still going with my ship. Let's just see. What we can do. Cool. Job done. And now that I'm here, I can do the rest of the stuff I need to do. I don't have arsenic, so I can't do level 5. But, I can do level 4. That's more than I was really expecting to be able to do already. So. Pretty happy about this. Incoming message. And it will really help when I decide to go do the 14%. Uh, So wait, what am I at now? 31.6, and 31.6. Okay, that was definitely better. So, right now, I'm not sure what it would be. I'll have to... See, there's that little teeny range there that I have that I can get in. Now, obviously, mass coming down would be great, too. So all this looks worse. Unless these are all great bonuses, which they're not. Try again. And, ugh. That's really what I want to see, just staying completely dead on the very bottom of mass. Yeah, so all negatives, huh? Nope. Even if it gave me a little more, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I don't trust that. Shit. Let's see. I'm gonna go for four anyway. So let's just see what this does. 3498, 3197, 3498. Oops. Apply. I'm just curious. Wow. 
So 30, just that little bit of optimized mass gave it 3505. So it is worth it, even if the mass goes up. Let's do one of my level fours. I really hope I can get this up. Yeah, that's better. Okay, not a lot more on optimized mass, but. I feel like this isn't gonna be a big deal at all. Nope, barely noticeable. Come on, don't let me down here. It's not easy for the new guy. Really being really gross. So thirty two six three two six seven thirty five seven four. What? How did that go down? What? It didn't just go down, it went way down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Because I somehow went to faster boot sequence. That sucks. Fuck. I need a break. I wonder. That's what I get for not even paying attention to the right numbers. That's ridiculous. Hilarious. Hilarious. Mask gets much worse, everything gets much worse. Optimized mask gets way the hell better. But of course, I gotta apply this. This looks good. Yes, that I like. Now let's, we'll try one more. Since it will open up five, even though I can't do five yet. Mm, come on, good good rolls. Nope. Power draw is nice, but the optimized mass being down sucks. <sighs> oh well. So at least now I can get the grade 5, even though I don't have the... Arsenic or data mind wake exceptions. So, at the manipulators for when I can, which is cool. Shield generator, reinforce shields. Well, I guess temporarily. Until I get better shields. Let's see why not. Seven eight zero. Oh. I gotta see this. Okay. So it did nothing to hurt it. Wow. That was really worth coming here and doing all that. I mean, destroyed it on, killed it on my. Sp well, I didn't look at my speed beforehand, but my speed is up to 361 with boost speed. <laughs> Jump range is far better, far better than it was. And I mean, just generally, it seems to be pretty solid. Still got plenty of power. And rock solid, rock solid. Okay, so. I guess we have a few minutes. I should do a hollow me just for fun. 
I don't know why. I don't know why that's fun. But I guess since I do have a couple minutes, it's either that or start jumping over to the community goal, which would be kind of cool too. Um, and then I've also got engineers to unlock. Easy and not so easy. But won't be that difficult, I don't think. What does Felicity have that I really need, though? Uh, just double-checking this. Let's see, Felicity... I know she does frame shifts also, but that's it really. So I basically would just be unlocking Felicity so that I can unlock other people. I mean, that's really all it is. So in the meantime, like uh, Elvira, so you gain access to him because of the party of Yoro and by, oh I see, so the party of Yoro has to invite me for that one. And then I haven't done Felicity yet, so I can't tell who she opens, but I can look on Inara and find out. Oh well, I would like to contribute to the community goal, and now that I have the extra range, I think that might be a good idea to get over there. So, let's check Galaxy Map. If you're wondering where the community goals are, they're on these little yellow dots so it's not Zachary Hudson and there we go so when I get close to here actually I can I could technically uh, I could accept I should have accepted the community goal already because then I could get whatever it is. But I'll just start heading in that direction and then I'll look up where. What is going on? Takeoff procedure complete. Clear okay, for good. departure. I would like to get a distributor fix too, but it's fine. Spend a ton of engineering products on stuff that's inferior. The thing about the frameshift drive is it's exactly like it's the frameshift drive I want later. So I don't want to spend a bunch upgrading garbage. find out what the community goals are or what it is I need to bring again Done some more data mine or some more wake exceptions. But. Let's see. So I need robotics, hardware, diagnostic sensors, and computer components. So if I go to EDDB, commodities. Really? So EDDB is just down when I need it. That's what's going on. That's pretty cool. Oh. Wait. How about EDDB again? Shit. So EDDB is down when I need Oh, commodity finder. So, robotics. For 
current system. I know it wasn't come, so that's fine. Okay. So what's the system? The system for Momoyrents is a system that I'm going to for the community goal. So apparently EDDB is just basically down right now, which really doesn't help anything at all. That sucks. So now I'm not sure. I'm checking Nara and see if Nara is working. Uh, looks like okay. So Nara is working. Let's see. May not get any further right now. I've got to get back to work here. Uh, robotics are 2100 credits. Uh, hardware diagnostic sensors are 7000. Computer components are 400. So, all I need to do really is to get, if I want to make the most money, it would be hardware diagnostic sensors. But let's see. See how far away they are from our community goal location. Quite a ways, actually. Canar Gateway in Zeripa. I guess I could go there. On the way, if that's on the way. Map. Let's see. Not exactly. Is it further though? basically the same so I'm not going to be able to continue because I pretty much have to be done got to get back to work so I will get back hopefully and, and be at the community goal for day three but anyway until then have a good night thanks for joining and I am out later